Hello and welcome to Upside Daily. Uh, This podcast will empower you to live from grace. I do believe this. It will help you discover a sense of purpose in life and challenge you to personal growth. My prayer is that our time together, seven or eight minutes, will empower you to live with faith, love and hope as a city changer. We've been chatting about the power of identification with Christ and today is episode 16. We're going to look at how giving thanks is really a deep part of our understanding of the power of identification with Christ. Let's start by reading Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 to 14. Your hearts console with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance freely given to us by living in the light. He has rescued us completely from the tyrannical rule of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom realm of his beloved son. For in the son, all our sins are canceled and we have the release of redemption through his very blood. I love this way, the way the verse starts off, your hearts can soar with joyful gratitude. You know, sometimes you need to say, Father, thank you that you have qualified me. Thank you that you have enabled me and made me worthy. This is something worth saying thank you for. I I deeply believe that thanksgiving brings fruition or brings to fruition the work of God in our lives. Thanksgiving gives expression to the fruit of his righteousness. In Luke 17, I read the story of, of how Jesus traveled onward towards Jerusalem and passed through a border region between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered one village, 10 men approached him, but they kept their distance, says the Bible, because they were lepers. They shouted to him, mighty Lord, our wonderful master, won't you have mercy on us and heal us? The Greek word used here for master is not the usual word just for a teacher or a master. It actually denotes one with supernatural authority and power. And herein, I believe, lies already the expectation that that God, Jesus, was going to do something supernatural. You see, there's, when you recognize you are in Christ, who you are in Christ, this should already release in you an expectation for the supernatural. God is present. He is here. And then they ask, they say, Jesus, will you reveal your mercy and your healing? Because there's boldness. <laughs> So uh, Luke carries on writing about this. He says, Jesus stopped to look at them and he spoke to them these words. He says, go to be examined by the Jewish priests. Can you just imagine what a step of faith it would have been for these lepers as as they stepped out on only the word that Jesus had spoken to them? Just consider that. It was only on the words of Jesus that they turned back to the, to, the, to the village to go and present themselves to the priests. They were to go there. Who would, the priests would then confirm their healing and declare them ceremonially clean and approved to go into the temple to worship God. I find that fascinating. On his word. Can I tell you, some of you listening to this podcast today, it's on the word of knowing and discovering that you are righteous in God, that healing, wholeness, deliverance, freedom, abundance is going to be released to your life. And then the Bible says they set off and they were healed while walking along the way. So they weren't first healed and then they started walking. They they, they just did what Jesus said and then found themselves healed. The story in Luke 17 carries on because the Bible says one of them, a foreigner from Samaria. Now, a Samaritan man, you know, to give thanks to a Jewish man, that was peculiar. He most likely did have no priest. And so he turned to the only one he knew to be a priest for him, Jesus, Jesus Christ. And when he discovered, says the Bible, that he was completely healed, he turned back to find Jesus shouting out joyous praises and glorifying God. And when he found Jesus, he fell down at his feet and and thanked him over and over again, saying to him, you are the Messiah. 
And the Bible recognizes that this man was a Samaritan. And Jesus responds. He says, where are the other nine? Jesus asked. Weren't there ten who were healed? And they all refused to return to give thanks and give glory to God except you, a foreigner from Samaria? Then Jesus said to the healed man lying at his feet, Arise. I love that. Arise. Something in my, my spirit jumped when I read that. Arise. It felt as if God was saying to you, Arise. It was your faith that brought you salvation and healing. You know, faith isn't something that you and I think of. Faith is something that we discover. Faith is something that you and I recognize God has spoken this out over us and it, it, it compels us. It ignites this response on the inside. That's what happened to this man. And when you recognize that, there is something that, that in you starts giving thanks. Again, Colossians 1, your hearts can soar with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance freely given to us by living in the light. You see, when we give thanks for the work of God, his righteousness that he works in us, thanksgiving brings that to fruition. We start seeing the fruit of that in our lives. I just felt encouraged, you know, may we start building lives with a reputation of giving thanks. Colossians 2 says, for our spiritual wealth is in him like hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. Heaven's wisdom and endless riches of revelation knowledge. Everything that could possibly define our wealth is hidden in Christ. In this place of our union with him, the complete treasure of all wisdom and knowledge is sourced. If you and I can just recognize that God had not hidden treasures from us, but he had hidden the wealth of his thoughts, his understanding, his wisdom, and his declarations for us. Here it is. It's yours. It's yours to access through the incredible revelation over your life. You know, how empty and unfulfilled our lives when we do not recognize and discover the true wealth and empowerment His grace and righteousness truly brings to our lives. Maybe today you and I can make this a a real thankful Thursday. (laughs) Thank you for joining me on Upside Daily. Uh, If you want to connect more with this podcast, um, remember Dr. Dale Online Campus is a great place to connect um, with me and more of teaching that uh, will empower you to live as a city changer. On Monday, we'll be continuing our short daily chats and input on this incredible wealth that is our understanding of the power of our identification with Christ. You know, you are in Him and He is in you. Uh, May today's Upside Daily give you true and new meaning to the words, live blessed. See you on Monday.